Okay. Just came back. Oh, stop. Hey, sorry. Chill out. Oh, sorry. My, 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 my our puppy, our dog is here. I just got home from the hospital. She gets very excited when anybody comes home. My wife's, my wife's still at the... Look, hey. Apologize to the people. <laughs> Not to me. See the people? You make it stuff, right? So stop. <sighs> Poor puppy. Now see the problem the thing about these dogs, it's about, you know, when you get well, when you get into the township, there's this disease they think is a port there's some kind of disease they got sometimes they, they die when they're young. And so I'm really paying attention to her, keeping away from other dogs. But it seems like she might have the, the virus, I'm not really sure. Because we did have a dog before they did it did pass. So if she passed, then, uh, boy, my wife's going to be devastated. Anyway, Wendy, go, back, go mind your business. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Yeah, leave me alone. Can I tell you leave me alone? Stay there anyway. Be distracted. Anyway, this, oh, look. No, no, it's nothing serious. See, the thing is, uh, this past weekend, uh, the, uh, my, the group, my group in Dumbaza, uh, my people in Dumbaza, they um, had, a, had a whole weekend. Friday was arts and something like that, and Saturday was sports. So we went down on Saturday. That's just so some support, some, some support, whatever have you. But the, both me and my wife, for the last couple of weeks, we've been having this, you know, some kind of congestion phlegm coming up from from up the, the upper chest, if you will, upper upper chest, and right here, this this region here. I wasn't concerned. I never concerned about something. Felt like a cold to me, but then again, well, it's just to have a little bit of it. So I'm never concerned about that stuff. Uh, it's because, well, let me go back to the to, to the clinic. What was interesting is that it's a hospital, actually Victoria Hospital. We live near Victoria Hospital. And so we both went in, but she went for her thing, and I went, I was get my teeth done, you know. So I went there, and uh, so, you know, you, you check in or whatever have you. And what I found out, this is a wonderful thing, and that's a little, this is a little side. I said, well, how much is it? He said, oh, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're an elder. You're, you're a senior citizen. It's nothing. It don't cost you anything. Really? Meanwhile, my wife was not a senior citizen. She's got to pay. Ah, well, we had a big laugh about that. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is that, so that's, that's, that's the system there. And then we, they, they looked at, well, anyway, I have to have to go back on the 27th for this. It's just teeth cleaning. But, but my wife was telling me, because she was saying that there are a lot of people in the hospital. Most people in the hospital have the same thing. You know, and they want to give people flu shots, something like that. But you do realize if you have something, uh, well, first of all, you don't want to take a flu shot, even just for that thing, because the flu, the flu that you have is is calling you to immune, is is, is creating the the, Im the immunity for that that particular strain of that flu. Oh, sorry, it's my water here. So, so, so basically, it's too, if the flu is there already, it's too late to take that flu shot. If they're trying to anticipate what's happening next year for the next flu shot, well, they're giving you the flu before. Yeah, it's kind of strange with the, with the flus. Now, I have to understand. See, I haven't taken a flu shot since, I'll tell you, 1970. The reason why I can tell you that definitively is because that's when I went into the Air Force, early 1970. And, and that's the last time I had a shot because I became a, 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 a medic. And, you know, I said, I'm not taking no more shots. I don't even like needles. So from that point on, I have never taken a flu shot. Now, what, you guys said, blah, 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 blah. No, I haven't gotten sick, you know, whatever, you know, a little cold flu, flu, whatever it is. But here's what happens. If you don't take a flu shot, I'm talking early on. I'm not talking about, you know, let me put it this way. As you start, is as it's going to be. If you start taking flu shots, then your, your system gets used to being, being, being helped. If you don't, because you, every, every disease that, that exists in the planet, that's ever existed, is still in us. <laughs> The medication it gets you sometimes it suppresses something, but it, it releases some other things. So the thing is, you have to you have to continue to to, to strengthen your, your immune system by by, by your by stuff you eat and da 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 da. da. If they put poison into your food or whatever have you, then you you're, you're done anyway. It doesn't matter how many flu shots you got, you know. Anyway, the, but the point really is. So it depends. Even say water. Now we this water comes from the filter right now. We was we we spent the night in Dumbaza in, in a village. And their village water, you can taste the differences. It reminds you of New York City water of, of, of the 50s and 60s. You know, it's just a beautiful taste. You know, no fluorine or something like that comes from the mountains, stuff like that. So anyway, so this comes through a filter, tastes really good. But you can taste the difference. That's what I'm trying to say. Your body, you can taste, you, you can feel, you can <clears throat> your vibrations, you know, you can vibe, you, you you can tell when something is wrong. Your 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 vibration will tell tell tell, tell that it's wrong. <clears throat> 
But here's what I really want to get to because of because of, because of the way the system goes, you know. First of all, you can't trust the system. Okay, we all know that. But here's here's the really weird thing uh, to me is that why do we not come up with all, our own alternatives to the to, to the system? There's a big problem. Because we allow the system, in other words, the system was saying that we're going to replace your immune system from the time you're six years old until, until forever with our immunity. And their immunity is not from, you see what I'm saying? So they're, they're, they're okay. So, but this, look, the point is, if you don't take charge of your situation, you're going to be done. Done for. I'm gonna give you one more thing. It's gonna be. I'm sorry. I take a little bit long here, but I'm gonna tell you one more thing because this concerned me. About t ten years ago, whatever. I was in. I was in Cape Town. <clears throat> I used to listen to this radio program on Fridays. They had this guy that came on, a science guy. So they asked him a question. Now, okay. So he, they asked him a question, and then one of the things he he talked about fight or flight. How when when you're under stress, you know, you're stressed. You're stressed. But, but the thing is, if something surprises you, or like say the dog barks at you, or something like that, then you you know you. You release this this thing that, that that helps you to to flee. You know what I mean? Everything sort of shuts down so you can flee. It's like let's say you're in the middle of taking a uh, no no. I'm sorry. Let me go to this. I won't be that. Good. Richard Pryor tells this joke. Well, he used to tell this joke where uh, a woman was. He said he messed with women. Like well, I'll just I'll mess it up. This is my and she's if she's you know uh, 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 relieving herself in the forest. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's going to leave it. And then the joke said, oh, somebody's coming. She could automatically stop that. And, and flight. That's what it is. When you have a when you have a stress like that, or you have a, a a fear, you know, it triggers your fear. It shuts everything down, and everything goes into flight mode. No matter what you're doing, you can move, right? Okay. Now the thing is, but the flight mode, the more you use it, the more it just becomes part of your thing. That that fear thing. So if you don't have any fear in your life, or if you have ways to meditate your way, you know, every day, which you should be, you should be meditating, especially black people, man. Right? Because the fear out there, just the, the the things that the, the it's just too much. It's constant. So we constantly get in this 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 this, this fight or flight thing getting released into your system. So when I heard this, I mainly thought about black people in the United States. Well, I'm here. So I was I was in Cape Town at the time, and I'm going like, yeah, because every time you see a police light, you know something happens. You know, but every time something you turn on the TV, you see another black person die. Something happens. You turn on the light. Yes, yeah, in case the light, but the day who knows. You know, so you so, so you don't. You don't get a chance to chill. And of course, we're so busy with it that the way it is, we have no time to meditate. So you can't even undo that stress. And I'm telling you, if I know this, and I don't have the amount of research that the government has, or even, let's say, the Catholic Church has, or a medical association where they hide their stuff has, believe me, they know. So this whole thing from, you know, what's happened since 9 11? Fear, 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 fear. Fear has been ramped up. Before then, it was there with the Russian, you know, with the, what do you call that? The, the Russian, whatever. Then they try to, now, it's interesting, now they compound it, the regular fear, then they try to throw the Russians in there, then they're they trying to slip the Chinese in there, you know what I mean? Of course, you have your regular thing that they prop up, 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 up. So they, they're surrounding you by fear. And you have no time to meditate, because even if you meditate, you got to get. So my point is, I don't want to say stop watching TV or stop, you know, or looking in your device. But you have to, everything is management. You have to manage your time. It's as simple as that. If you if you want to partic participate in that, whatever have you, and there, but that's what's going to, that's what you're going to let into yourself. So it's a management thing. If you're going to let 60% of, of, this, of the stuff that they're throwing at you come in and invade your space, which, which would stop you from releasing the things that, that would help you, then that's what's going to happen. So you got to manage your time to something else, you know? Just manage it to something else. That's all I need to tell you right now. It's me, T, from the Patterson, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from ADES, of the ADOS. I say this stuff because we really need the American descendants of chattel slavery to join in this battle, To I mean to join this battle, to continue in this battle. And we need as many researchers, I call them research, us researchers, as possible. Because it's coming to a head now. They have, they know all, they have everything arrayed. Then the only thing that's going to help us is to go inside ourselves. Remember, 
where Miss Yvette and Attorney Moore came up with this thing of, of ADOS. It released us. It came from in us. Once, you, once, once it hits you and you feel it, you're released. You don't have to listen to any of this other stuff. So we're going to be concentrating in a little while, maybe after, after, after the inaugural conference, and uh, we get our marching orders. Hopefully a lot of different points of view and, and how to do this battle will, will come up and, and, and it, be respectful and the rest of that stuff. Hopefully. Anyway. Huh, that's it we get from the death of the U.S. The American descendants of chattel slavery.